know, man. We back with another reaction, man. But before we get into this reaction, man, I would like to say a couple things, man. Hey, first off, I want to thank those who took the time to to go subscribe, man. It only took a it only took a couple seconds, man. Literally to go press that subscribe button. Y'all know, man. Come on, I ain't gotta explain, man. Y'all already know. A second thing, man. When if you do like this video. Go ahead, leave a like, man. Simple as that. And once you leave a like, you can press the sub button right there. One last thing, man. I got a crazy video idea that I've been wanting to do forever. I'm not gonna lie. Before YouTube, man, I ain't gonna lie. I got a crazy dope video coming up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, with that being said, stay tuned, man. And one more thing, man. One more thing. One more thing. I, I, I just forgot. I ain't gonna lie. I just forgot. I'll probably remember in the middle of the video or something. If I remember in the middle of the video, I'll I definitely say it. But, uh, we got, uh, today we got, man, we got that Deshaun Washington. Watson. For those who don't know, man, he was just traded to the Cleveland Browns. He just had a uh he just had a press interview today, man. We're gonna see what we gonna see what they talking about now, man. You know the media, they always like it, man. Listen, don't get me wrong, I don't condone in his actions whatsoever. I'm not gonna lie. But hey man, my man's a football player, man. If y'all don't want him to play in the league because of this action, his actions, you should have never let him get this far. You know what I'm saying? To the point where to where you he can even be in a press conference. I don't want to sit here and listen to him being bashed about some females, man. I'm here to watch football. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm here to watch football. I don't care about... I don't care if he hit a hundred women. I'm going to be real. That's his life. That's his decisions. Am I saying it's right? Not at all. But that's his life. I'm here to watch football. But we don't get into it, man. Let's see what he got to say, man. Fault, yes, I, first I want to say thank you to uh, D and Jimmy Haslam and the Haslam family for giving me this awesome opportunity to be the quarterback of this historical organization in right. the Cleveland Browns. I want to thank Big AB and Coach Kevin uh, for also giving me the opportunity because a lot of teams didn't want to join this organization, join this locker room to lead these guys and be a servant leader. And then another opportunity for, you know, this organization for me to. 230 million to come in here and have the opportunity to show this community, lie, show man. this city, show this organization, show, th show this locker room who the person I really am. And that's the main focus that I want to do is continue to show people who I really am and get my story out eventually. Let's start with you. Uh, Tom Withers, Associated Press. Deshaun, um, there are a lot, of, as Andrew and Kevin mentioned, there are a lot of people that are very conflicted over your arrival here. Um, they've read the sexual allegations, they've seen the lawsuits. What do you want people to know about you as a person? Who are you? We know about you as a player. You see what I'm saying? And I know he just said he was gonna give him an opportunity to, to say his side. But look, right off the bat, literally, he got he went straight into the first question. Hey, how did, you could have been like, hey, how you doing? Are you ready to get back in action? You Are you ready, to, ready for the season? You know, you know what I'm saying? First action, they hitting with some, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, let my brother, you know what I'm saying? Who are you as a person? Um, the biggest thing for me is, as a person, I'm genuine. Um, 22, though. <laughs> servant leader who loves. I don't know, man. That's a lot. Community, who loves to give back. Very kind of team oriented. So I love hanging out with my teammates. But also, I want to be able to show that eventually and get out into the community i've always been hands-on in the, the community of houston back home in gainesville back home in clemson and that's what i want to do is be able to get back to that brand or get back to that person that people knew i was before before all these allegations Jake, yeah andrew just to be clear uh nobody I mean, from the here. browns or representing the browns spoke to any of the 22 women who've made allegations correct we, we, we. 
like like I mentioned earlier in my opening statement, J Jake, our attorneys advise us that reaching out directly could be considered interfering with a criminal investigation. But I thought we was talking to Deshaun Watson, man. Independent investigators to make sure that we could get that comprehensive and holistic perspective. The investigators you hired did speak to the women? I'll say the investigators that we hired were able to get a full perspective of, of all the cases. Yes. Not speak to them. I'm going to say the full perspective of all the cases. I'm not going to go into necessarily the details of what of everything the investigators did, but they got a full perspective for all the criminal and civil cases, Jake. Not speak to the women. You know, what is the basis for calling your investigation extensive, as you put it in your statement? On Sunday, and also given the fact some of the women haven't given sworn testimony yet, mm -hmm. they haven't, they don't have anything on the record. Yeah. So again, Jake, I'll refer back to my statement. Um, the independent and unbiased investigators were able to be comprehensive in all the information that were, they were able. But then it, but look, y'all, you got twenty-two allegations, am I? I ain't gonna lie, that's a lot of allegations. Look. Whether it's true or not, let's say it is true. If it is true, something wrong with this man, cause twenty-two at after the after the tenth one, I'm a but twenty-two. Nah, if he nah, if the man just nah, nah, if he nah, if he nah, nah, if he innocent, man. It all makes sense, man. Twenty-two people want some money, man. You already know, dude. You already know, man. Black man, quarterback. Hey. Able to bring forth some of the information. Quite honestly, I I understand can't necessarily be public, but we do feel good about the work that we did. We feel good about the uh, the work that the investigators did for us. We got a comprehensive perspective on all the cases. All right, cool. So let my man play football and all, man. Andrew, when you were investigating the situation with Deshaun, how much were you looking into whether the acts were criminal or whether the acts whether or not they were criminal did not rise to the standard of player conduct that you would expect from a player. Yeah, both I want to hear what Deshaun got to say, man. I'm not going to lie. Did you come to a conclusion that... I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm, I'm watching the Deshaun Watson interview. Not this dude. In terms of... Uh, um, um, we just both were going in different directions. And so for me to be able to accomplish the things that I want to do, um, you know, we, we started off doing it privately with my agency and then it led to, you know, the whole big situation. But yeah, we just, it was, it was a time for both of us to kind of part ways. A couple months after they had given you a new contract. So what triggered your change of sentiment? Um, I think for this circumstance in this situation, it's hard to get too far into the details, but, um, yeah, it was just, uh, like I said before, it was just a time for both of us to part ways. I know that previously the, the contract was given to me that summer, um, but at the same time, I was honest and straightforward with the organization. They were honest with me, and we came to the conclusion that this was the best situation. Dan Lobby? Uh, Sean, I think as, this is, as details have come out, some people have wondered um, why you've used the number of massage therapists that you've used. Can, can you kind of explain that number? Uh, yeah, I can't get too far into detail because there's an ongoing investigation still. But I can say that with this now day and, and age, still um, about it. especially with my age group, social media is a big business part um, that, that goes into it. So that's, you know, a factor into it. But as far as the details, I can't get too far into it because there's an investigation going on. But hopefully, you know, once everything is resolved, I can speak freely on it. Are you kind of reevaluating your methods or how many you use or how you find people um definitely this is something that with my team and now with the cleveland browns and the organization we find a plan and, and move forward from it Mary Kay? Uh, yeah, Deshaun, what can you say to browns fans and to the people of cleveland to convince them that you're football? not the person that oh, is described in these complaints and suits and do you sort of understand why it can be I'm hard for people I'm sorry, I'm not laughing about uh, to, the situation you know, believe this, that right now serious, given the sheer numbers involved. No, definitely. Situations. I understand the whole circumstances is very I'm difficult, just here to watch especially for the, the, the women's side of the fans in this community. 
Um, I'm not naive to that. I know these allegations is very, very serious. Exactly. But I, like what I, I mentioned said. before, I've never assaulted any woman. I never disrespected any woman. I was raised by a single parent mom who has two aunties who's her sister. And that's who. That See what I'm saying? Y'all got this man up here talking about a whole bunch of stuff that's not relevant to football, man. It look like that's about to be the end, man. That's who raised me. I was raised to be genuine and respect everyone and everything around me. So I've always defended that, and I will continue to stand on that. And I just want the opportunity to be able to show who I really am in the community and be hands-on and help people and serve other people. Hey, simple, man. Give my man his respect, man. Simple, man. Let's play. Let's let him go play some football and all, man. Hey, man, that's the end of the reaction, man. If y'all like the video, man, like, subscribe, man, share it with one person, with two people, however many people you already know, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.